welcome to the beautiful, beautiful Erin Hills. We're here for Barstool Classic stop number, I don't know what, but this place is gorgeous. I mean, this is what, my third year doing this Barstool Classic shit. I ain't never seen any place like this. I mean, Big Bass is gonna take you around throughout the day, but my God, I took a lap yesterday. As the French do, the French go like this. <laughs> There's only six public access golf courses in the country in the last 121 years to host the US Open. There's only six. We're one of those six. So the average golfer in the world can play Aaron Hills, which is a US Open course, which creates a bucket list for most people. Now it's a Barstool Classic venue. We don't have a trophy up yet for the Barstool Classic, but we'll probably have something somewhere in our clubhouse. Just gonna show him, you see that? You see that? Come on, you Ghanas! Come on, you Ghanas! Get in! Oh, South Africa. So, okay, I mean, they're, they're my rivals, but I like that. You're, you're all your Springbok fan? No. Yeah. Oh, you're Springbok fan. There I'm you go. I'm, an, I'm an all black. I'm an all black guy, so probably not going to like that, but kind of cute. I like that. Yeah. Arsenal, though. Good man. Defending champs in the building. Hey, hey. How are we feeling today? Well, Zah tried to kill us <laughs> last night, but we're feeling a little bit better this morning. It's that time, Jake Bass. It's that time, it may be, it may be 9.30, it may, wait, no, it's not even 9.30, it's 7.30 in Wisconsin, but guess what? I live on that 5 p.m. mindset, so it's five o'clock in my head. Holy, let's go, first one of the day. You guys are automatically qualified this year or no? As long as we don't get DQ'd, so I got plenty of golf balls and uh, keep the score right, we're good. <laughs> yeah, once we saw the list, we were, gonna, we were gonna go to the best venue we could find, and this was, I, according to Riggs, his stories for the last three years, this is the best thing. So. What do you think these guys are uh, in for today? <laughs> yeah. We got some, uh, some fast greens, hopefully some good pin locations, and uh, a tough golf course. So they need to keep control of their golf ball out there, but it's going to be a lot of fun. What are the keys to playing well at Aaron Hill? You need to drive the ball well. The course is really manageable if you can hit some fairways. So hit some fairways, hit some greens, and make some putts. Uh, the golf course is it's right in front of you. It's, the fairways are mostly wide. But if you miss them by 10 yards, you're gonna have some unfortunate lives, either in the bunker or the fescue. You might get lucky in the fescue, but you, you gotta get lucky. And then of course you gotta roll it on the green, you wouldn't be able to spin it out of there. It should be um, seven under, 65, you know. Now, it depends on what time they start drinking truly. <laughs> <laughs> if they do, but you know, if they're really in it for a competition, they're gonna wait until they're done to have a, a beverage. What's the one hole that you're kind of worried about for everyone here? For everybody? Nine. Nine. Nine by <laughs> far. Nine <laughs> by <laughs> far. You miss, you miss that green, We're doing, you are done. <laughs> We're doing center of the green on that one. He is standing right there. People will go and take pictures with the papa. Fucking Riggsy, man. Riggsy the king. I mean, he's the king. He's the king. <laughs> All right, boys, good luck. You ready to rock? Oh yeah. Uh, our number one rule, don't be an asshole. That's it. <laughs> Other than that, have fun, enjoy yourselves. You want to listen to music, just don't bother anybody else. Um, in terms of going first, honor, you can flip the tee. You can fight, you can just go. <laughs> it doesn't matter to us. Um, play well, play by the rules, enjoy yourselves, and we'll see you after. <laughs> that guy said he was going to do that. I wasn't ready for it. <laughs> What, what are you, a crazy person? <laughs> you know, it is what it is. It goes straighter. It doesn't go left. It is what it is. We do what we have to do. Nice hat. It's tough to Keep it nice and shiny for us. Thank you. What did you guys do to the trophy when you got it? So we drinking out of it? We drank it? a uh, fair amount out of it. Uh, that first evening. There's a chair in the basement where I watched sports and I used to just put a cocktail in it and then take it out. It was kind of like a, a coffee table for me for a little while, but. World's most expensive coaster. <laughs> you guys played here, what, the other day? Saturday. Yeah. 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 Things heavier for one hand, my man. I know. A little intimidated, but <laughs> playing with the best, so it just gets us motivated, so ready to go.
Jake Bass. I kid you not, I'm not looking forward to that. We gotta go up there, we gotta go up there to go see my people from Cross Country Mortgage, but look at how far fucking high we have to go. I'm not looking forward to that at all. That's why it's called Aaron Hills. Yeah, 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 actually, yeah. it makes sense, Aaron Hills. <laughs> There was very little earth moved. It was mostly built by the glaciers millions of years ago. We had to move some earth for the greens and teas, obviously. But the rest of the fairways were all designed. And they had a uh, you know, number of holes. I, you know, they had probably uh, a dozen routings. But they chose this particular one. Dr. Michael Herdson, Dana Fry, and Ron Witten were the architects. Uh, they started in 04, and they finally opened in 06. My owner purchased it in November of 09, as I mentioned earlier. The nice thing, it's like a little boutique. It's 18 holes, that's all we have is 18 holes. The proximity to everything is, is within a pitching wedge. You know, the, you park your car, the range is 20 yards away. The check-in is 100 yards away. The lodge is 100 yards away. The first tee, the starter house, the putting green, um, the list goes on and on, the cottages and all that we'll talk about in a little bit. My owner chose to just be one golf course, a U.S. Open golf course. In 20 years of opening, we'll have hosted five USGA championships, which is pretty unique. That's unique, too. Uh, even. Even now. Yeah. Uh, with a double and three three putts. So You've gotten unlucky, though. I mean, it's, yeah, missing putts is my thing. Yeah. I'm yeah. good at that. You think three? <laughs> What's the leader right now? A 336. 336, anyone got that in their bag? HP does. Oh yeah. Oh, Tell the oh, driver for it. Put that on me. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, power fade. Power. You see that? That's Hell, DJ. Yeah. That's DJ right there. That's perfect right there. <laughs> That's perfect. I don't know. I think we're gonna give it a shot. Oh my god, that's so oh, tight. Oh, oh, that's like that's the long drive. That's, that's so god. deep. Are you following that one up there? Yes. Dude, that's that Is there a promo deep. code for the Sims? <laughs> Swipe up. <laughs> Dude, that, was really cool. we'll, that was just the same as my first one, so we'll see yeah, what we'll it see, adds. Yeah, we'll see if it's 20 years long. <laughs> Dude, he's got like 90 left. Yeah. <laughs> that's my first one, I think. That's your first one? So that's the difference? It's the Dude, you got switch drivers. He, he's 90 Small yards out. That's a 300, 350, 360, 340, 344, right? Is that in the right manner? You know, <laughs> same stuff, ball, too. Same sure. ball. They were both hit as good as I could hit them. Safe to say you're gonna go buy a Sim 2 after this? We got a Sim 2. Saving up for a couple weeks to get myself a Sim 2. Yeah! What do you guys think? How close do you think you're going to hit these shots? Uh, you know, I almost made a hole in one yesterday. If, so, if we uh, hit it close, our caddy John. <laughs> and Jet. And Jet, too. John's like, jet. oh shit, here we go. Oh boy. If we hit it within five feet, our caddy John will jump in the water, right? John? Sure. Sounds good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we haven't seen anything inside no, five feet no, yet, it's so, not gonna so I'm feeling pretty safe. <laughs> yeah. hits it within the flag stick. Whoever hits it within the flag stick, the caddy has to jump in the water. Yeah, that's a given. That's gotta happen. Hope y'all are all down. Yeah, we're down. Okay. All right, there we go. Oh, there no. we go. That's there. what I needed. Wow. Now Where's it's going player? in the hole. <laughs> yeah, you have to jump in with me. I'll jump. Okay, in. yeah, the Shit, player, oh player, fifteen jump. truly's later, and a hole in one. I'm jumping. Do a cannonball off the roof of the halfway house. Yeah. Shit.
You nervous now? Absolutely not. He's gonna hit it to six feet. He's gonna make a birdie and I'm gonna win the birdie pot. How far is it? Yeah. Six inches away from his caddy having to jump in the water. He said he'd jump in if he made it? He said he, if it got within five feet, he'd jump in the water. We get people that come here and, and they stop on the way to Kohler or Sand Valley, you know, or Century World or, you know, Lake Geneva area. And they play at one time and they're very upset because they didn't stay overnight and play it a second or third time. It's one of those kind of golf courses, and I've played it probably a hundred times, and I could birdie the first hole or make a seven. And it's like that on every golf hole. There's no gimmies out there. 622 par five. Hit a pretty good drive right down the middle. Can't get home because I got 320. I'm not Justin Thomas, so. <laughs> what he did is, is um, very rare, but I haven't talked to Justin. I'm quite sure he pulled the shot. Uh, he was trying to hit it up on the flat and then hit a little uh, wedge shot in there and, and birdie the hole. But I, he had to pull it a little bit because he flew it into the bank of the green. It's a little false front for the first 15 feet. And that killed the shot because it was a rocket three wood from 301 yards. It killed it, rolled about 10 feet by and he makes it for an eagle. 63, nine under par, the lowest score ever in a U.S. Open in 117 years, nine under par. Go for that Justin Thomas? Yeah, we'll need a little extra club, maybe drive rough the deck. We've got a putt today, Jake. We're going for 14 makes is the goal, 14. Yeah, man. Hey, what place you got here? What's up, man? How are you? Hey, Brennan. Brennan's did the. So their deal, Steve, is if you win the entire thing, which they did last year, then all you have to do is not finish dead last in a qualifier and you make it to the championship. Because you got a list. There's still a little pressure there. Because, you know, it's still a possibility. Thinking about changing that to next year until you got to finish under par. I think we did that too. We did that too. Totally, I just think that would put the heat on it. That's, yeah, uh, that's a lot more heat. Well done, gentlemen. See you in Piners. Yeah, man. November. That's right. Oh, you gotta hit it though. Yeah, you gotta get it down there. Don't hate it. Don't hate it. Don't hate it. You're in the final. You're in the final. Bang! Bang. 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 All right. What is that? Come on, Troy. <laughs> you guys missed it. Everybody that uh, made the putt, we are going to do something very unique. We're going to play the 10th, 11th, and 12th holes aggregate score. Two foursomes. We are going to go U4. Is that this guy? U4. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go to the 10th hole, aggregate score. You can determine the order on the first hole however you would like. Oh! Oh! You're Go still it. in it! <laughs> I'm going home. You didn't touch it. You got to just put the slam the truly on the ground. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Come on now. Hit it. Get it. Oh. Gotta go. Oh, Whoa! Money. That's a bomb. That's a 45 foot bomb to take the lead. Give me a drink. Let's fucking go. Wow. Hit with the Air Hill shirt. That's what I'm talking about, baby. And of course, rewards that kind of stuff. <laughs> so, what'd you all end up? Six. Six? All right. Let's find out. I want to earn it. I want to earn it. Scott Perry, 500 bucks to the uh, Barstool Fund. Yeah. Ever heard of it? Small business? <laughs> Thanks, man. No it's extremely kind. <laughs> Do it. There it, Do it. Is. there it is. Oh, you oh. Son of a Another ace. <laughs> Insane, you with the aces. What is this? Let's go. Wow. Let's go. Wow. There it is. Fuck yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. 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 Wins the yeah, truly putted contest. Five hundred bucks, my friend. Thank you. Five hundred bucks, you get to customize Taylor Eight Spider. You do whatever you like with it. I love it. Sleep with it. Whatever you want. <laughs> oh, I'll fucking uh, sleep with it. Two aces. Way to go. Congratulations. Way to wrap it up. Sponsored by Truly, baby. Correct. <laughs> That's correct. Thank you. Wow. Well done. All right. So we're here with the Truly Putting Contest champions to celebrate the whole event, celebrating the classic. The only way to facilitate celebrations is with the Macanudo cigar and champions celebrate the way champions do with Macanudo. Cool. Champion, champion, <laughs> Macanudo, Macanudo, champion, champion. Everybody know we love Macanudo. 